Hello. Hello, everybody. What's up? The sky. There we go. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing all right. I'm a little tired for some reason. I think I like overslept. Mm. Like way too late. <laughs> Liquid lizard. Let's see, it is what stream number is this? Two six four. Darn, it's not two six nine yet. Let's skip that one. I think we should uh, make that a special one. Maybe if we get to like six six thousand nine hundred and sixty nine, mm -hmm. then six nine six nine. That'll be the special stream that we take should like have celebrate. Yeah. So we haven't reached stream four twenty, have we? That should be a special stream as well. No, we're like almost or a little more than halfway to that one. Okay. Let's listen to this song so far. I'm trying to move the Why won't it not let me select it? That's weird. Maybe uh, you need to close Parsec, and I'll I'll, I'll let no, you know. No, it's not that. Again. It's, it's not that. <laughs> no, it was like our computer switch. <laughs> like it's me hosting the shovel skin all of a sudden. Like, wait, what? How come I have Mike's computer now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's because there. I think that'll. Yeah, yeah. Now I can move the time. I just want to get the yeah, time. Like... Jimmy, you have so much more. No. <laughs> I need to is clear your happening. browser history. And then right, anyway. douse it in fire. <laughs> Gonna change the uh... Are you sure you're changing the right instrument? I just some of the I'm not sure exactly the waves. how much you can adjust with this. I just want to get rid of some of the um static y sound. It's a little bit too much. The wind. It could just be the instrument. I know, but there should be still some way to Nope. There's no way. Lose hope. Life is not worth living. I can't do it. I've lost hope. Stream is over. My life is over. Goodbye, everybody. Maybe it's the floating or the... Maybe you could redu reduce the reverb or something? I don't know. I'm not sure what all these are.
maybe it doesn't need to be with this, maybe just in like... Also, I think I... Anyway, I'm I'm thoroughly addicted to Diablo 2 again. Oh, because someone was talking about it? Uh, because I've been playing it. It's like one of those games where it's like it still holds up today. It's like, and then like the company hasn't been able to like recreate its success, you know? It's like, hasn't been able to... It did Diablo 3, which is an okay game. It's just mm -hmm. nowhere near as good as Diablo 2. And then, like, I've been playing this as... Even though it's, like, an old game, and it's a little clunky at times, like, it's... It, it does show it's like age a little bit, but it's so fun. <laughs> it's just still fun. I mean, this is well made, like. Mm -hmm. I've been playing as a sorceress on my offline game. Uh -huh. And I think I've. I, I like gravitated towards like a, a like a certain two skills that I like really like, and then like I was watching uh, like Diablo two videos, and this guy was like, "Oh, here's a really good build you can try out," and it's like, and it's the build that I'm actually doing. Like, oh, I just like I'm not even using a guide or anything, huh. and I've apparently gravitated towards a viable build. Which is pretty cool. Anyway, I think we should change the flute instrument or uh, change it to something different because it's a little bit like I don't know. It doesn't really like blend together. It, like switches like two. like that. I like that one. That this is a cool. good instrument. Set up much like this. Didn't mess it up as much as it doesn't sound bad. It makes it so that like <laughs> oh, oh, it's like oh, still it's only on the A, so if I turn off key on the keyboard. Every single mm. key is that. Oh. On A it is, but on... On B. So B is still... Playing whatever key you play. A is only playing. Let's see. You have both of them on. For some reason, it doesn't sound like it. it doesn't sound bad. I think because I mean, the, like the reason why I'm thinking is because the. Uh, 
it's the root note or whatever yeah, the root or note is in c so if one thing is always just playing a c no matter what it's gonna like work with a lot of it mm -hmm. still sounds a little funky in some parts but What are you messing around with, though? Like, uh, just how many strings there are, or how many st? Just joins them, so whatever you do to here does to both. It makes sense. I, I liked how it was before, like, it's not okay. Let's listen to it. That's like a brassy element to it now. Yeah, the B. Started, they were both on. I was just messing with them separately. So there's here's the B. Okay. I think you're on um on the channel. ambient bit. You're on the ambient base. both together. Okay. that brassy well, I think I let me try something. I liked how it was before like when you first there you, go. you changed it right. it was like dobby or something wobby yeah Maybe, yeah, change B so it's less, uh, or like, maybe just do A and with no B, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's way too much. Pinky Ripple, that sounds wrong. I 
you doing, Quazy? Welcome back. Quasi. Hey, Quazy! Twack fweet back! So that, like, I can probably, like, extend it out, like... No, I was just... something yeah. oh you're doing a different snare
I just want to make like a even more simple like kind of uh, number three. Just maybe just control A delete and just make something that's like. Actually sounds kind of cool. <laughs> I want to see what that sounds like. Oops, I did the same one. Maybe change the instrument actually. Cut. Maybe do a uh, flex. That's right. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I yeah, you're just putting it in the um in the mix. I I didn't choose the instrument yet. Intense. Oh, something that's like not as uh, intense. Sounds like somebody coughing. <laughs>
I was thinking about maybe like just doing the lower parts, maybe. Are you just doing? Or maybe taking out the very highest ones, maybe, instead of taking out the lowest one. Because, yeah, that the high ones, like, are a little loud. The very high ones. Yeah. I mean, to... Oh! I see what you're doing. You're reducing the velocity. That's also a good idea. I'm not sure. Yeah, it does. It does. It's just you didn't reduce it very much. And also you didn't select it all. But they're, they're low enough. Okay. Continuously, constantly. Yeah. That kind of gives it a little bit of a a oh, rhythmic kind of going to sound too random I don't know maybe like do the thing where it's like every other one you know like or take them out rather than just mute them. I'm wondering if... Okay, because right-click still deletes, but if you have it on the... I was just right-clicking and it was just deleting them. Mm. Which I didn't want to do it. Oh. I just wanted to... I did a few before I realized it was...
an idea that I had. I'm thinking, like, maybe, like, if you don't want it to be so even, maybe we can, like, even put, like, effects on it, like, uh, like, a little bit of, like, uh, some sort of weirdness and stuff, like, a gross beat or, like, trigger gate or something. <laughs> I don't know. Might be interesting to try it out. I don't know what trigger gate will do exactly. Uh, too much to it. Already. It's already like rhythmic. Constant. Go mm -hmm. back into this. And it gives just... it variety. There. It's kind of funny. Uh oh, I'm too far back. Transgate. Uh, the one before, that one's okay. Transgate one. Then we can as the the beat comes in it's like kind of like adds to the uh are you trying to do a different much reverb and stuff almost like a staticky sound to it oh uh. 
that's just the nature of the uh That's kind of a cool sound. <laughs> I don't know if it'll fit with the song. Out of a like a loud. And we don't have to use it. What's <laughs> poly time? Like polyrhythm, like seven eleven? P O. Oh, it's down further. Oh, I, I, yeah, I just wanted to see what poly time was. Right there. I don't know. I was like thinking it was going to sound offbeat or something. Hey, doing Red Grave. Hey, Red Grave, what's up? I don't know if you've been here before, but welcome. I think we should add more to the the rhythm at this point so that it like kind of takes away the, the repetitiveness because it sounds like it's part of the rhythm. And also, it's been a while since we've used uh, like uh, that one drum thing, FPC. It's usually a good. The kits they haven't used before. Yeah, maybe uh, use acoustic or electronic. Uh, um... I don't know. Thrower. Ambient groove. Oh, are you just trying to get a sampling of like what this kit? Is. Oh. Kind of 
<laughs> oh, it's just. Oh, I still have. Uh... Oh, you, you just copied the drums, so just take them out. The other one's still in there. That's why it sounded. Oh, wait, wait. metal but with like punk drums it's funny how like they do the kick and metal is like kind of how they do the uh, hi-hat and rap music <laughs> mm -hmm. Near room with the ringing, I just don't like that. Mm. Well, it's just it, this isn't our beat, so we can do our beat the way we want. This is just a sample. Yeah, just to see what it's gonna. I mean, I'm not sure if I want it to be this complex, you know, I, I want probably want it to be like. A more simple beat. I'm just trying to just get a beat going just so you can kind of hear what the drums the themselves kit, sound like. The kit sounds like, yeah. We can always like make it and then change it if we don't like the. are good for like oh, I guess that's a weird sound to it like it's hard. sounds hollow or something it sounds echoey like it's recorded in like a room with bad acoustics mm -hmm. <laughs>
Richie. Teko Official has redeemed track feedback. All right, Teko. Let's listen to his song. Doesn't even sound like a drums anymore. Sounds kind of cool. I, I'm not sure if it'll fit with the song, yeah, but it sounds kind of cool. gonna make a new beat i think i was still brx studios okay which was last year yeah we've still been streaming pretty pretty consistently skipped a few days here and there but and this week is a little bit weird, so we're shifted to Monday, Wednesday instead of Tuesday, Thursday, but... you have anything new to share? I was just working on something. Uh, yeah, if you want to send it in. All right. It's different from I mean, your it's, usual it's stuff, and it was we, more fun. We'll listen to whatever you want to send in, but it's up to you if you want to send it or not. Wait, there's no high end? I guess it's New York compression or NY compression. Maybe. It takes up the very tippy high end, I guess. I don't know. Oh, this is low end. 
Oh, that's low. Okay, never mind. Solo the low. I should get the kick drum. Maybe the kick drum is isn't. There it is. Oh, it's on. Okay, it was off. Just so it just means that it wasn't processing the lows. Hmm. I may want to like extend it a little, the beat a little bit, and also I'll probably edit those drums too. Wait, hold on. So I'll clone this. Oops. <laughs> you doing a crab suit, Lando? Thank you for Fair. playing the slot. It's so nice. Also, Twin Dragons, if you want to redeem some play the slot machine, uh, we're about to do that in like half an hour, less than half an hour. And uh, if Jimmy spins a jackpot and it's your, your turn, you win a gift sub. Hold on. Because it like it sounds like the beat is going weird. wants to do something he can take control and and I just watch and make sure the stream is going good and then we're just on a uh, well, he's on a discord video call and I'm just capturing the video window and on screen. But that's how his video gets on stream as well. special effects myself.
actually. I do want the half step. You get anybody not to snap to the grid like that. I never want to snap to it. So the little magnet up here. to none then you can just put them wherever they, they will snap very slightly that's your um if you go into your time base the ppq that's basically what what they're snapping to it's like 96 no it positions. stands for the it's like the PP, you know, urine. It's the PP question. That's what it stands for. So, like, if you need to pee, because, oh man, I have a question. Why do I need to pee pee? It's the PPQ. Yeah, you just need to select. Okay, I'll stop. That's the dumbest joke I could have ever, ever made. <laughs> it like step. It'll put a, a line every step and it'll snap to there. But the an issue that you can run into is if it is like off a little bit, like if you hold alt, you can then move it freely. But it'll like remember that position. So if it's off a little bit and then I click into this position, it'll, oh, never mind. It put it there. But if you try and move it, it'll still snap and rip, keep its timing. So if you had a drum sound that had like a lead up to it and then hit, so you, you actually wanted it like a little bit off like that, right? And so that would make the drum hit at the right spot. If you move it, it would keep that timing. But if you delete and then click, it'll it'll resync it up but yeah you just got to make sure you have one of these and you can do like half steps you could do one third step um i like to leave on or main and then whatever your you can also check this one up here this this one way up here is for like for your project so if you have this set to none then your project will be like very hard to get exactly right you have to like zoom in and like move everything like zoom really close and get it like right in there but you just set this to like step and then snaps so it'll, it'll if you, work good. you can have that there, but if you don't have it in here, if you have this one set to none, then it'll be really hard here. Yeah, I remember um, when I first started using FL Studio, I thought it was like they updated it or something. I was like, why does it not snap anymore? And I, I was like trying to make a song without any of the snapping and I was like was struggling to make things get to the beat and I was like I don't like the new update so I just stopped using FL for a little bit mm -hmm. without realizing you could just change it you know like I didn't know about all these controls and stuff and mm -hmm. these options because I think before yeah, when I also... used it I think it was automatically like jumping to the beats you know it was Mm -hmm. And it didn't have as many options before, but then they updated it so it does have more options. And it, I was confused because I thought it was just being like smoothly just moving around, and I wasn't. I was having a hard time making it fit the these, rhythm. These ones in line and cell are kind of interesting as well because like it'll automatically split up. So like as you zoom out, it'll combine. it'll combine them so it becomes less uh, less options but line will put it to the closest line so if i put it if i click here it like it's normal but if i put it here it'll put it it'll still put it there or normally it would put it to the the one before it 
I go to step and I click here. I would still put it there. You have the set on the line on the top, though, like uh, below yeah. the time signature. You see on the top? No, outside of the uh, thing, on the very top of the FL Studio up here. Yeah, that doesn't matter. You have that still set on the line. It doesn't matter. That's why I was still doing it, like, even though you had it set. No, it's not. I don't know. Because this only affects in the oh, timeline. Oh, that. Okay, never mind. Or it can be like, it's it's like the global snap. Actually, if you take this, you can have the playlist be set to something different. But if it's set to main, then it aligns with what this is. Same mm. with these. You choose what snapping mode you want. If it's main, then it's the main one. It, it okay. does this. So if I have this at the step, but this is at the line, it doesn't matter. Only if this is main would it do what this says. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. I got the gist of what you were saying. Cell is what I was thinking of. If you click here, it'll, it should put it here. Yeah. So if yeah. you click within a cell, even if you're like really close to the line, but still in the cell. Oh, wait. Well, now it's just doing whatever. Maybe because I'm zoomed in. I don't know. It's yeah. like I said, some of the some of the settings are weird. Just gonna make. If you're zoomed all the way in, you get like free control. If you zoom out one, then it just puts it in whatever cell you're in. It's interesting. That's what cell. All right. And of course, and so and I, now I'm happy. Are. Events. Oh, that just removes all. I, huh. I guess it. It snaps to like. The sections where stuff is already happening. I guess it <laughs> shows you like. You can line it up. So if you line it up right there, you know it's. It syncs with those events. Interesting. Huh. Never seen that before, actually. <laughs> and then markers. So if you have... Or add a marker. Still not, though. I don't I, know. I, yeah, I don't know what's, what, what's happening. <laughs> Anyway, we usually leave it on like a step or half step, something like that. Anyway, that was a little bit long, but hopefully it helps. I don't really like that crash, it's too... A light crash, maybe. Uh, you're welcome, BRX or Twin Dragons. It doesn't sound high pitched enough. It sounds like like it, like you put a cut off on it. I know that you didn't. I think that's just what the sound sounds like. Sounds like there's like a cutoff filter. Thanks for stopping by. I uh, hope to see you again. We'll probably
probably be live next on a Saturday. Uh oh, yeah, I'll probably be home by Saturday. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I wanted to do Tom's. Also, maybe not a half step. Like, yeah. underscore gaming click the follow button for some reason thanks for the follow bogos bogos gaming thank you for the follow between be like between drums number i think drums number three is then something in between that so it's slightly faster but not as fast as drums number two so
to like increase good so more gradual increase speed. the track feedback a very nice interesting singer man okay I was like wondering like I guess it wasn't updating the uh, chat but anyway you can add something if you want or maybe like I think we need to rename the drums because they're all kind of out of order This is a different style of song than we usually make. if we should change the uh, drum kit and change it to whatever yeah and thank you for sharing again uh, bipolar sound sorry if I sound like distracted I think the I like this part yeah I just wasn't sure what else to add to that part and also we can add more stuff to the previous parts and also work on the arrangement and stuff later as well I mean we're not even like we just started the song pretty much even though we've been working on it for a couple hours <laughs> But not straight through. We've been just li doing um, track feedback and all that stuff. Who's controlling the mouse right now? Is it Mike? It doesn't look like anybody is. Okay. <laughs> but I think <laughs> I think PLM was. Yeah, I think he was. Is... Yeah. Oh. Uh. Where's the uh, thing on the side? Uh, the. Uh... Okay. Are you adding something or like what's going on? <laughs> Me? Uh, no, yeah. I just think there should be like. A little... Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh no. Are you? Can you listen to me now? Yeah, yes, I can hear you. Now. Okay. Yeah, I was. I think that <laughs> it wasn't because I was on Mike's computer. It wasn't able to like my discord wasn't working. So okay. I just, what I was trying to, what I was saying is that I think that the drums at the beginning need to be a little bit more complex. They sound like 
placeholder mm-hmm. drums mm-hmm. rather than yeah, yeah, and they probably one, are because you just started the song so yeah one to 17 yeah yeah like uh we just wanted to do like a basic like beat in the beginning or we might not like the thing is i was like thinking of like maybe some atmospheric like intro or something and then like we don't even need to use those drums. yeah or or just like add like a little beat like you know like a percussion sounds that aren't like standard drums or something just like to add to the atmosphere of it you know mm-hmm. or maybe like uh add like effects to the drums we already have and like have it like fade in or something and then Something like that. Yeah, you could make a like kind of a long drum pattern, and then like kind of make it get louder and louder until it gets to the second part. Mm-hmm. I think the fully. A weird sound. Percussion might be good. Yeah, go through the sound. Yeah. (laughs) That would actually be kind of interesting. <laughs> those those volt ones sound kind of cool. The volt clean w- clave. Yeah. Yeah, like just subtle sounds like that, like not like massive. Yeah, not like, like uh, very even, like through the whole thing. Like maybe yeah. like ding. Yeah. And maybe like, like emphasize like... certain parts. Ding ding. Stuff like that. I may need to get like. I can just use FPC because you could just open up. Empty. Oh. Oh. underscore poggy click the follow button for some reason i think i know who that is oh, i should go look at the discord to see the drama that's about to happen <laughs> oh boy i don't think these posted anything Yeah, you could have a, like a calm discussion about Russia with him. <laughs> no, well, the thing is, it's just like I don't know. It's just weird. It's a little. Uh, I don't know, it seems like it might be like is. a, I just a don't troll know what his, or what his goal is. Yeah. I mean, like. I don't care if he's just there to just hang out and be cool, share some music, you know. I just don't know what the whole, like, getting personal information and stuff like that. I don't know what that's all about. It's a little weird. Kind of like might not need to be that rapid fire. <laughs> Maybe it could be. Yeah, do I mean make do something odd. 
Yeah, I think our whole album so far is pretty odd. That yeah, you don't you don't have many singles yet that you've made like hit songs that are going to reach the well, Billboard the, the top slickness, forty. The slickness is top top <laughs> top one. It's like I'll be number one in the whole. Yeah, with Island Boys. <laughs> have you heard that? Uh, I don't think so. Oh I'll man, it's, it's it maybe it's. I think it me make it actually beats Red Dogs. Why do I cry for the worst rap song ever made? <laughs> Island Boy featuring Kodiak Red, Fly Soldier. Yeah, Fly Sol- <laughs> Soldier is. I think maybe the worst <laughs> rapper of all time. <laughs> this is why cleaning your pool is extremely important. Troggy underscore Where's- Poggy has redeemed track feedback. I think there's nothing to do but listen to this track feedback. <laughs> I don't know what it is. No. It's a <laughs> Bashar or something. Bashar Assad. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really funny, actually. Someone very, very trying very hard to share pro Assad music mm-hmm. on a stream with currently nine people watching. This is extremely productive use of anyone's time who wants to, <laughs> you know, you know, spread the, the Assad propaganda. Well, it's like, uh, I, it could just be a troll. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, I mean, still, is. you're not trolling very many people. <laughs> right, like, I don't know. I, I I mean we could talk about Assad, <laughs> but I don't think that's what the point of this is. It's like we don't really want to talk I, I, about world well, like, politics. We just want to make song. Whole, the whole thing is he was sharing like trap music. I don't I don't mind the trap music, you know. <laughs> I don't mind the uh, the British stuff, like the like the British drill. Mm-hmm. It's just the um. There's just the other stuff that he's doing that's a little concerning. <laughs> what like stake does he even have in the Assad I, game? I, I think originally he was just like he was mixing it in with his other feedback just to kind of like like uh, give us something to like uh, I mean he wanted to test us to see what we're like thought about it or something. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not. I don't like... know into all kinds of political type stuff so i'm you know i don't follow the situation or whatever over there i didn't even know i thought i didn't even know what bashar was i thought it was like a restaurant or something <laughs> well i i knew about assad i just like but just yeah, thought was, he was just it was just the kind of a catchy song and i was like okay this is a one-off thing so, so like, you oh, knew, let that slide so you knew about assad and you yeah, knew it but... was assad propaganda <laughs> and you were like this is fine <laughs> <laughs> well it's just like i thought he was just sharing like a catchy like foreign song. yeah and, and he did and he might not have known what it was yeah, about. I, I and, thought maybe. And, you, and, yeah. and neither I just of thought maybe I'll or, let that one thing slide. And yeah, I, I understand. I'm not saying that. I mean, like, I don't know a lot about that either. I'm just like, it's just ridiculous. Zero Moses two. Click the follow button for some reason. You now I'm skeptical every time we get a follower. Yeah. Well, unless it's just unless, the unless... same guy making zero <laughs> zero Moses. Like uh, Zero Moses I don't know. two, I'm gonna make one Moses three. <laughs> one Moses three. You guys, uh, no, we're not really discussing it. We're we're discussing the like what like there's a situation of the person who sent us that song yesterday and like uh the on, same on guy. Monday. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it came up again uh, because the. Uh, that individual was, I believe, banned and then and made a big stink about things on the uh, Discord, Discord channel, which oh. you, which no one can see now because Shrivel Skin <laughs> is censoring them. Well, I, it, it showed some information. Right, probably... censoring, I turned into pixels. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. It's obviously, in, it's obviously justified censoring. 
Yeah. Well, the thing is, I I, I probably like would have like uh, if, if that was it, and he didn't send any more stuff, and he was just there hanging out. I'm I'm okay. I mean, I'm not overly. It's just like, like just don't share war criminal stuff on here uh, yeah. over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could do it once. <laughs> well, the thing is, I just thought it was just a catchy foreign song, and I was yeah, like, oh, what whatever. Was. I was like, oh, it's a foreign language. Like we listen to foreign music, and like I don't know what it's talking about. But and then, honestly, it was. I mean, it maybe wasn't like a terrible song, imagery. even though it was. I don't agree with the message. <laughs> it wasn't a bad song, honestly. <laughs> did you dance to it, Jimmy? <laughs> I might have. A I, little I bit. think he did. <laughs> he did like lasers. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably delete that vod. Probably should. I. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely want to keep it. <laughs> well, we're, we're like, it's like we're in on the joke, like whatever. It's just, it's. It it's wasn't no a big deal if somebody just does it once, you know. It's just like. Well, it could have been. It could have been that someone just liked a song, thought it was catchy, and shared it, and no one involved knew about right. the situation no enough to actually. Actually, I was like, actually have an looking opinion. up like, uh, like what he did. <laughs> oh, Syrian you propaganda show. It's all over. <laughs> yeah, so now it's like Jimmy's gonna they, become they do... like famous in Syria. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> hey, what if what if this uh, down with the slickness became number one in Syria? Because <laughs> the government was like they, they promoting changed it. the slickness to Assad. <laughs> <laughs> they make it their national anthem. <laughs> Everybody does like it's their, it becomes their I national like, dance to dance like Jimmy. Get down! <laughs> it's like a Liam military Lisa parade, and all these all these military people are like goose stepping. To, <laughs> to I'm slickness. like Liam Neeson from Taken. All the ladies want my bod. I'm perfect. You're flawed. <laughs> no. <my. laughs> That that being some <laughs> anyway, so people are out here. We don't know much about Assad. Now we know he's bad. Yeah, like I was like l- looking him up. I was trying to like figure out like I I was like I'm kind of familiar with that name. Like, and I looked him up. I I tried to find the Wikipedia page. And I didn't want to make a big stink about it or anything like that. I didn't. I just wanted to just let it pass, like whatever, like let it pass and l- people forget, whatever. Who mm-hmm. cares? <laughs> You're now B- Bashar, official best friend and symbol. I'm trying to yeah, he, like he invites me over to like, I'm like wait, what? I'm trying to look at our recent <laughs> clips just to see if. Uh... Somebody think. clipped it. <laughs> From 263. Like a little bit through Montana and Idaho. Yeah. And then Washington and Oregon. That whole. Oh, it's when Jimmy ate the salt. Fun. Fun road trip. Oh. Like America, if not the movie. It looked like a tree from a distance. <laughs> All right, anyway, that wasn't it. Well, that's what we get for switching up our schedule, like from uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays to Mondays and Wednesdays. That ends a little suddenly, though. Yeah, I don't think there's a clip of it, but that's okay. Okay. Jokes aside, he is a war criminal. Hundreds and thousands of his own people killed by a secret police. Well, he is is awful. Yeah, I know. Uh, It... And that whole thing over there is a tragedy. It probably shouldn't be joked about, but the the fact is, is that it's that Jimmy accidentally becoming a symbol of the Syrian government, the monstrous Syrian government, is kind of funny. But the monstrous Syrian maybe, Syrian government is not funny. Maybe it's like a um, a way to soften but their the, hearts, but the so that like the, Bashar the can see the error of his ways. He can see that Americans aren't so bad. They dance to his music. 
<laughs> hypothetical situation of Jimmy somehow becoming a symbol for them <laughs> is kind of funny. But that we don't. I'm, I, I, don't I wouldn't support. condone it though. I'd be like, no, I don't. You're like, I, I don't, don't want this. <laughs> we're like yeah. the, we're the worst. We like the guy who made Pepe the Frog, and he's well, like, "No, I don't want to be. I so want Pepe being associated <laughs> with this." <laughs> it, it became a hate symbol, and then like they tried to take it back. I think like Pepe being anti-hate, you know, but then like it didn't quite work. Mm-hmm. You know, hate, like, hate started. sells. Hate <laughs> sells a lot more than uh, than not wow. hate. So, Kim Kim Jong Un, Jimmy, can you solve that situation over there? Next up, Jimmy on North Korea featuring Kim Jong. Like we actually have an interview with like uh, um, Kim Jong Il or whatever. I was just just reading about this lady from North Korea that bombed a passenger plane and killed 115 people, and then she was captured, and she saw how much more prosperous. South Korea was and North Korea mm-hmm. and she like flipped and like told them everything about like the spy operation and oh. because she saw like South Korea was like so much better than North Korea <laughs> and her whole life she was told South Korea was uh, awful like terrible places mm-hmm. and North Korea was the good place and then when she was actually in South Korea she was like oh this is much better mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah i think there's there's been like a North Korea like uh escapees who like like had interviews with like uh news people or like saying that like like warning against propaganda and stuff like that and not to let it happen here <laughs> mm-hmm. it was like yeah i saw yeah. like a documentary about how people tried to escape North Korea and how difficult it is because you only have like so many options like you can't you only just go south because there's that it's... border is super guarded and also it's like the people there are so isolated and uh, insulated from like knowledge like so they what they know about North Korea is that's what they know. That's like uh, they might not know a lot about the outside world, so they don't know to escape because they feel that they don't know if it's like any better outside of that country. But then again, some information like leaks through, you know, mm-hmm. like movies and stuff like that, and like uh, like. Well, like the ridiculous thing about it is the dictators over there like they'll watch and movies from South Korea and and America mm-hmm. and places like that and yet they'll ban them for the people you know like yeah like I remember like like that I haven't seen squid games but like squid games like a criticism of like the inequality in South Korea is part of like what one of the themes is and like Kim jong un was like, Oh, you know, like this is a great thing that that exposes how awful and corrupt and twisted South Korea is. And then, but lo and behold, North Korea doesn't even let people watch that. But they don't have that, you know. There's a character in Squid Game who uh, is a defector from North Korea and uh, escaped to South Korea. And like uh, her, apparently, her mother was killed in the process or something like that. She has a big backstory. Like, and she's, like, a defector and wants to protect her, like, her little brother or whatever, who also, like, uh, escaped. But, like... (laughs) Yeah, well, like, the point is, is, like, you're in the... He did the same thing with with Parasite. And, like, the, the thing is, is, like, the reason why South Korea has criticisms of South Korea in it it, that's good you know that shows like a, that's like a healthy country that people can make art and stuff yeah. that criticizes he, you, you can't even do that in north korea like you can't yeah. criticize the government you get killed like <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just allows a discussion and like uh um, also it's i don't think it i didn't get the impression it was pro 
like uh, North Korea or anything. No, it's not it's pro it's North Korea. Not. It's not pro North Korea. It it's... critiques uh, it critiques society like, while at the same time nobody's like an angel in that show either. It's like that everybody like people are flawed, but like it, it just shows like people don't like no matter how much debt you're in and like there's like you don't deserve that, you know? <laughs> you don't deserve that kind of treatment. Well, the um like the whole point is you know, like every society is screwed up and you should have a society that's able to change and get better over time. And if you don't allow people to be dissatisfied with the way things are, you're not going to be a very good country because things will never change. You know, like yeah. dissatisfaction isn't necessarily bad. And like, I think the people in South Korea, they might be dissatisfied with, they think things could be better you know in some aspects but they certainly appreciate the fact they're not north korea exactly you know? <laughs> right. and it's like uh um yeah i actually squid game I, I actually really like that show have you seen it yet no i was trying to get shannon to watch it but we've been watching uh inside job that's a pretty hilarious show yeah like uh i i still need to check From that what out i've seen so. of it isn't it basically just like creepy red light, green light? Oh, well, that's the first uh, game that they did. It's like basically, mm. it's like kind of like a uh, these people are given like a card. They're all in debt and desperate, and uh, they're shown like uh, like been given an opportunity to uh, be in like a game show kind of thing, and like uh, to win all this money. And they, they signed this, the whole thing. They're saying those who don't make it are eliminated. And they're like, okay, well, this shows like a, seems like a typical like kind of a weird underground game show kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then the first game, it's like all based on like kids games that they play in like sort of South Korea and like uh, and uh, um, however they find out that if they're eliminated means that they're killed. Like so if. Mm -hmm. the the first game green red light green light they didn't know that they're going to get quote unquote eliminated <laughs> so right. that's yeah. kind of like the big reveal and i don't want to get into like spoilers or anything but yeah that's the whole like kind of like introduction to the game show kind of thing and then like all the other games are also based on like kid games and stuff mm -hmm. but if you get eliminated, you you die basically. Netflix during some kind of video gaming thing. So oh, I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna go away from the Bashar Al Assad um, <laughs> Wikipedia page I had open, and I'm gonna go to Netflix <laughs> video game. Yeah, and also, I Kenny. So nice speaking like of a, a video game, I've been like really playing a lot of my Sorceress, and I feel like my Sorceress is actually a superior person the, like character <laughs> then why are you playing the sorceress offline you should be able to come and help my very weak and terrible necromancer <laughs> because uh, i've been offline because like I, I didn't the uh the q lines or whatever like i just i want to be able to play offline so that like for example if the internet's down i have something to play or like i i, I you know if i can't connect to battle net or whatever i can just go escape connect play offline you know and uh, i have a, a at least one character there i might start like another character and also okay. i can test out different builds and stuff so the the news con the company netflix is launch uh, public launch of netflix gaming on thursday is part of the services smartphone app but only in poland and only on android oh man well, I'm assuming, I'm, to move I'm, to Poland. <laughs> I'm, ass I'm assuming it's going to like go to other things after that, but it looks like they're making like, they have like exclusive games based on their shows, like Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. And oh, they they did have like a Black Mirror kind of episode or whatever, where you could like choose your own adventure kind of thing, and that was kind of neat. I think that uh, that's and also like. Speaking of the sorceress, like I just I I'm not using a guide or anything. I'm just experimenting with my own 
like ideas because I felt like, oh, I can respec any time. Like if I really screw up the character and like so far I've actually gravitated towards like an actual viable build because like I looked it up on, uh, um, on, I was like watching a random video on Diablo two on YouTube and you said, Oh, check out this build. It's actually really good. And I was like, wait, that's my, that's what the two skills I'm using is chain lightning and uh frozen orb. Which is like just the combination is really good because like if somebody is immune to ice, I could just use the lightning. If somebody is immune to lightning, I can use the ice. If somebody's immune to fire, then they get killed by both, you know. If someone's magic immune, though, I could just use my uh, um, mercenary, who will hopefully slowly bring them down. <laughs> Yeah, it looks it looks like Netflix is getting into gaming slowly. Although I don't know exactly what that entails, or and no one. I, I feel really like knows. it's going to be like a choose your own adventure kind of thing. Maybe like a like you watch a show and like you can choose where it goes. Maybe that's that's my guess. And if it's gaming, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not sure what's involved. Like maybe like a game where it's like an interactive show. Let's hear what Mike's been making here while we've been talking about a variety of topics. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's going to be like too much. It might be, be. It looks like too much, to be honest with you. But let's see what it sounds like. Yeah, where's it going? Even if it is I too much, like... it might be able to be used somewhere else. Oh, that's kind of cool, though. I feel like that could just like be in there like later on and like just sporadically in the song like like or or what if the song this is a drum fill what if the song started off with this and then slowly faded out as the original t like atmospheric tune faded in or this like hold on i want to try a thing Maybe we all three of us can make our own weird beat. And then we can decide what to do with them later. This could this be the is, mic I, the, weird beat. This is kind of like I don't even know if this even qualifies as like drums. <laughs> it's it's more um abstract mm -hmm. rhythm. Very, very weird. <laughs> well, hey, why don't we just throw it in there and see what it sounds like? See what it sounds like yeah, with the metronome to see how on beat it actually is. Okay. It's very slow now. Kind of got a beat to it. Has a rhythm. Well, let's let's just throw it in there and see what happens. Let's see if it just surprises us and sounds cool. Yeah, we can, like, uh, take out the beat that's in the beginning of the song and then, like, put this in. I don't know where to put this where it sounds right, because it's kind of in a long... That sounds fine. Not all these, but like I'm in a weird. There we go. I feel like it's probably too much to start off with. <laughs> So I think that that actually could work with that there, but I think it, it it's not good as the like very first thing, like maybe even like start here. it like right here. Okay, go ahead. You have control. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry if I moved the mouse or something interfering with uh, what you were doing, and also I can't hear you if you're talking.
we just have to the way that his Discord and everything is set up. He's doing Ruby something. Adzi. He just we just can't hear him. Oh, sure he can still hear us, but he has to like get out of Parsec, and go to his thing, and then hit his hotkey to be able to speak. Yeah. Yeah, I I would be surprised if they didn't make a Squid Game game. I think like they had Squid Game on Roblox. They have like mini games on like various things. I feel like maybe that could fade in rather than starting all really suddenly. Maybe add some effects to it, like maybe like gross beats or like. I think it needs to be longer so it's not so repetitive. Yeah. Yeah, maybe make it a little longer or maybe we can all either make it us. either make it longer or that idea where it, it slowly fades in and gets louder mm -hmm. is actually a good idea too mm -hmm. or like we can all make our own like type of uh also i feel like the drums like the normal just that that beat should be more like um hard like the drums should be harder sounding Mm -hmm. You know, like more echoey or something, and the bass maybe more effect. You know, like you know, like give it deep. some reverb. Yeah, something. deep. Yeah, yeah like. Uh, also, I've been finding really cool stuff with my uh, um, my sorceress. I found this. Uh, really this armor set that does plus one to all skills and then like i yeah and then i found a unique armor that like has a whole lot of uh defense i gave it to my mercenary maybe have it like fade out for longer like stretch it out through the whole thing And like add more to it to make it longer, like all up to the three. Here, can I add a part? I, I feel like it should start off slow and then go a little faster towards the end. Like maybe I could uh, move it ahead. Like maybe I could do this part like.
want the repetition of the sound. And maybe uh, Kenny could add the one in the middle. I just wanted to make a really simple one. Like n from two to three could be like. LM there. Is this Mike or who's yeah, controlling it I, right now? I am oh. right now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, look, he's like doing things like advanced stuff. He's not just like clicking on things. <laughs> I, I feel like know. it should like gradually, like it should increase in speed. I think the third part where that you already made, like, should like be the fastest one, like almost like a drum fill. You know what I mean? And then like yeah, it is. Look, this is. These are like super close together. Yeah. Less close yeah, together, which it still means goes that by... this is slower than this. Yeah, but there's it's still more sound... space between them. It still sounds fast, though, when you play it together. But it's not as fast as that. And it's also like a, like almost sounds like a rattle. So that could just be like one sound almost. <laughs> B3 is nothing. Anyway, if you wanted to do a DLM. Okay. So it's a little bit fast. Well, let's hear what it sounds like. But oh, there's still a little bit more to fill in. There's a gap. <clears throat> are you doing this with any intention, or are you just no. sort of? <laughs> well, like what I wanted to do is I want to Jimmy have it start to off make slow, it speed up gradually. Like, just, like, be simple and slow. Then Mike's complex thing can be the one at the end, almost like a drum th th It seems as though that is what's happening. We could just leave it at that with that gap there. We do or just say that. When Jimmy gets frustrated, just, just click around <laughs> randomly. Just, okay, it's done. Here's a drum thing. <laughs> Okay, let's hear it. it. Sounds hear it. really good. <laughs> it probably will sound great. It's got too many of those wah wah sounds. Things. All those nothing.
I think. <laughs> and I think it's, it'll be very important to kind of make this get louder and louder and kind of ask, act as a transition to the next part. Also, maybe like add like some sort of like. Also, we might need another section because it's only three bars. Let's go to the last section and just get like. <laughs> One six step none. Oh no, this is going to be absurd. <laughs> that little part is like. Whoosh. Have that extend through the entire bar. Oh no. Just like on Earth, <laughs> I don't know. Draw a picture with it. Like, it looks like a guitar oh, yeah. right now, a little bit. Or, or write shrivel skin with the with the text. I just want to put at least one note, like in every. <laughs> it sounds like um Joe computer noises. Those <laughs> any of like really long noises. That Oh, hold on. How do you block people? I think you can get away, too. You're the guy on the left, Twitch. Uh... Lock there. <laughs> there. That just goes crazy at the end. Let's see what this sounds like in the context of the song. Maybe not as what it was initially intended, but maybe. <laughs> okay, let's let's just see what it sounds like getting. Yeah, like like as, as it, it is. <laughs> yeah, as it is. Maybe like have it at the at the end. Or... So let's add a um another fill. Interesting. Echo.
Now that's weird. This keeps Let's rising. do it. <laughs> its feedback is 100% so it'll never go away. <laughs> it may need to have a fade out as well. <laughs> you could. It's all from, like, just one little tiny sound. You know, you remember that, um, there's a band I completely forgot about. Um, like, I saw a reference to them in another video, and I was like, oh, man, I completely forgot about that band. It's Jimmy's Chicken Shack. Remember oh, that yes. Band? Yeah, Jimmy's Shack. I, I, actually, I actually just recently decided to look them up because <laughs> um, there was I was watching something utterly ridiculous. It was the Windows 95 promotional video where Chandler uh -huh. and Rachel from Friends mm. were, like, showing people how to use Windows 95. Uh -huh. And uh, at the very end, there was a band that sounded very much like Jimmy's Chicken Shack, and I wanted to see if it was Jimmy's Chicken Shack, but it, it wasn't. It was, like oh. a, it was like a band made by Microsoft <laughs> 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 to sound like Jimmy's Chicken Shack, of all things. Yeah, I just like looked. Uh, I just like completely forgot about that band. I was so, like, oh yeah. So like, like at one point, there's a guy washing the windows in the background, and Chandler's character looks at him, and the guy is overweight, and he goes, "Could he be any more fat?" <laughs> <laughs> That's the entire joke. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty funny. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> quality writing. It, like, uh, um, forget what I was going to say. Yeah, I was just watching some guy was, uh, doing a clear out of, a, um, a shed, like a storage shed. You bought somebody's, uh, storage, like, thing, you know, it's like the auction. And there's a poster for Jimmy's Chicken Shack. And I was like, Oh yeah, I I forget what they sounded like, and they made that song high like high dun 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 high dun 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 dun. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, Lizzie Hand. I have to go. Usual you, fun stream, <laughs> Jimmy. I hope Secret Service is not after you for today's shenanigans. Cheers. I right, see you later, Light Liz. Lizzie and uh, um, they're not after me for uh, for today's shenanigans. They're after me for some other shenanigans. I I won't get into detail, but uh, yeah, Secret Service. Uh, I may have made some edgy jokes that you know they were they have it set up so they listen in on all of our conversations. I might have said an edgy joke one time, and now they're after. Me. So. Uh, if I disappear, sorry. It was just a joke, NSA. You know the in angry Secret service, the angry video game nerd. Yeah, his, his friend Mike and him used to make like his name is James and his friend is named Mike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they made they made like they were played video games like James and Mike Mondays. Uh, anyway, yeah. well, Mike is like uh, you know done some things in the past that weren't very good and bad and i realized that in you are the mike of james and mike mondays and mike <laughs> is the james <laughs> we just switched yeah i'm the more controversial figure <laughs> i actually watched dave Chappelle's special and i didn't find anything wrong with it <gasps> <laughs> The funny thing is, is you saying that, you know what? That's controversial. Uh, Dave Chappelle won't get canceled, but you would. Probably. <laughs> For saying you like Dave Chappelle's thing. And then I'll be Not defended. That he liked it. He's just saying that he didn't find anything wrong with it. Oh, uh, it's just, you know, honestly, I actually I, I did find some parts funny, but um I mean, I just watched it and I just didn't think it was like I mean, the stuff about transgenders, like, 
I can see why people might find that offensive, but that's not anything unusual about Dave Chappelle. He says offensive things all the time. <laughs> you know, it's like he—he's he, not just targeting like like targeting trans people like hatefully. I—I I didn't get the impression that he hates trans people. Mm-hmm. That—that's the thing. It, it didn't seem to come from a uh, like a. Uh, a point of hatred you know like or bigotry it just he was just like criticizing certain like viewpoints and like he you know i mean he's not he's not hateful is what i'm trying to say Mm -hmm. and plus is he if you really he said if you really listen carefully my problem is not with the trans community it's with white people (laughs) and i thought that was funny Mm-hmm. Even though he's making fun of white people, I don't care. He can make fun of white people all he wants. So, but it's just the thing is, it's not in a place of hatred. That's like that's the thing, like where you kind of draw the line. If it's like a hateful kind of tone to it, then I understand why you don't like it. And if you don't like it, just don't watch it. You know, you don't have to go out and try to cancel him. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, I think Netflix is getting most of the criticism. Yeah, for airing it in the first place, but I I don't think they're in the wrong either because they're probably making a lot of money. <laughs> I I understand why they uh, they like uh, they uh, are kind of having Dave Chappelle on their platform. Like this controversy probably is actually helping Dave Chappelle and in, <laughs> in a way. Mm-hmm. But anyway, this controversy like sells. too much. I feel like maybe it should be like maybe ex- like the whole pattern should be like extended through the whole thing, you know what I mean? So that like it's uh goes through the whole fading in and it's like more like subtle. No, don't just put a thing at the very end. I wonder what it would be like if you just Yeah. (laughs) I feel like maybe the end portion, maybe like, yeah, it's just a little, it's almost like you'd kind of... Stop trying. <laughs> and speaking of the controversy cells, maybe the controversy stemming from like my dancing and all that might help shrivel skin blow up. <laughs> Not literally, of course. Like
almost like there's just random clicks in the background. And it's, it's this pattern that we just made, Jimmy. I know, but like... I feel like um, it doesn't need to like go that far into the song. Poor Dave. What happened to Dave? Oh, are you talking about um, Friends? Yeah, the uh, guy who played that character. He uh, died, I think. Um, Which Dave. character? Friends. Oh, Dave uh, Schwimmer? The guy who played Ross? No. No, wait, never mind. He, that guy, character's not named Dave. Dave Chappelle. Oh, poor Dave. Oh, we were just talking about Dave Chappelle. Chappelle, but like Kenny Dave was talking Chappelle. about friends or <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Where is the toupee? <laughs> uh, friends. I forget the name of the guy. Gunther. That's the name. He died apparently. Died at age fifty nine. He oh, died of like was... cancer. Gunther was like the guy who worked at the coffee shop on the show. Right? Yeah. He he like think like he was like the uh quote unquote sad sack character. Hmm. He, I heard like he, crush. He, he was an extra on the show, but he was yeah. the only person on the set that could actually realistically work a espresso machine. So he looked mm -hmm. like he was really working at the coffee shop. Hmm. And they hired him as an actual role in the show just because of that. That's kind of Oh cool. yeah. Well, you know how to do it, so you're hired. <laughs> hmm. That's an interesting bit but, of trivia. Yeah, Kenny knows more about Friends than I expected. <laughs> like, uh... I used to watch it with Mom all the time. Yeah. It's a very bad show, actually. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, I watched it on occasion. I, I was more of a Frasier. Frasier's guy. better. It's a better show. I liked it better at the time. But Friends had that thing where, like, you would keep on wanting to watch it more because there would be, like, you would want to see if, like, anything, you know, like, the, their, the characters had relationships and it, like, kind of continued on. So it wasn't, like, it was, it was clearly not as good as, like, as funny as Frasier. But it had more like ongoing storylines, so you just wanted to kind of see what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't like each episode was its own self-contained thing. It was like, and also as a kid, I used to watch Family Matters uh, with uh, what's his name. With uh, Friends, it was it's interesting because it was self-contained. You could just watch a Friends episode. Mm -hmm. I don't know where like it all makes sense, but at the same time, there were just certain storylines that would kind of like be touched upon you right. know um it was like, like with the, the x-files the same thing like they had that ongoing like alien storyline and i remember like never liking it when they did the aliens and x-files i always liked it when they had like the monsters and i like you know one-off ones or like two-parters or something i don't like uh, the it's kind of like star trek much. like with q i didn't really like q in star trek the next generation I liked it better when Q wasn't around. <laughs> I mean, because they could do like Q was just an excuse to do anything, really. Perhaps he says he likes Seinfeld. Yeah, and Seinfeld, Seinfeld was better than all of them. This it was the best Seinfeld one. Seinfeld was hilarious, and Larry David, like, uh, like I liked his curb your enthusiasm as well. <laughs> like NBC had those sitcoms, like they were like the the network that just had the most popular sitcoms. I think they had Frasier, they had Friends, they had Seinfeld, and some, a lot of them were really good, but um, Seinfeld was the best one. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like, uh, I think Seinfeld got into a very deep philosophical point about airline food. And I think that touched a lot of people. I feel like it should end. Like, well, what's up with it?
That sounds good. What do you... I, I wanted to do... So... Hold on. I wasn't done. Okay, control Z. Okay. I just wanted to move this over and maybe... Just like this. You see what he did? Pattern is exactly the same. He's like, this one's No, I, I wanted to move. move this one. And then you put this one back where it was. <laughs> well, exactly I was trying to same. decide. I was thinking. I was thinking about what I was doing. It's like, well, uh, I moved one thinking I was going to do something else, and then I decided to move it back because I decided against it. It's my thought process. <laughs> Better now. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, see. <laughs> there. No, I was thinking about moving another part. Like then I decided, well, I I guess I'll just move it back. They had it doing like two, and then like it did the extended one, and then it did two, and then the extended one. Oh, uh, but I just want I wanted to end at like a uh, a point where it does more stuff, like as if it's like part of the drum fill. <laughs> It's fine. All right. I think we need to switch pattern eleven with pattern eleven, though. Well, I ha and also, we how come there's them. no? Oh, wait. And how come there's no like uh, thing on the side to choose what pattern and drag them in? What do you mean? See, there's usually a thing on the side over here, so that you can drag in the pattern. No. Like, if you make a new pattern, for example, it's not showing up on the side down here. Do I do minimize this? No, this is where you choose, like... No, I'm not I'm browns. not talking about that. There's, there's usually a list of patterns down on the side, yeah. like drum one, drum two, drum three. Here, you pick your pattern, like drum No, four, but on the six. side, why isn't it on the side? Usually it's on the side. What are you talking about? Look, next to track one, track two, track three, there's usually yeah. pattern one, pattern two, pattern three. Where are the patterns? They have the browser. Which you can... Are you intentionally just messing with me? Because it's so Look, obvious that there's supposed to be something there. I mean, you can like... I know there's alternate ways to do it, but I'm just really used to having a separate like tab yeah, how we've always where done there's it. patterns. Always, just, I know. Just draw here that's not how I do it. I have patterns, and I choose from the patterns on the side. That's also how you right-click and rename them on the side. Yeah, there's F2. not just track F2 one, track. Yeah, but oh god. How do I describe it? How do it's, I describe the default like, like this view? How it's always it, been. No, it hasn't been. <laughs> You're doing trying to do a Mandela effect kind of BS Jimmy. on me. No. <laughs> I mean, it would be a good. Maybe we should suggest that if they had the patterns right here, that'd be like so much more convenient. If you put in a, a thing and say, "Hey, <laughs> You're messing with me. Okay. I I don't know how to get it back. Get what back? Never there to begin with. Maybe it's this thing. Uh, how do I? Why is it? You change the instrument. <laughs> change the instrument to portly. <laughs> what, 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 what was Why that? Why did you change it to? I didn't mean slump. to. I don't know. <laughs> Me. I don't know <laughs> what it is. What? Watch, it sounds what did we great. Even change? I don't even know what we changed. I think we might have changed that. What is. Are we even using that? No, it's just, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm trying to get the patterns back. View. 
What are you even talking about? Oh God, damn it! I can. I, I'll do a screenshot of mine. I'll, I'll minimize. Sec. Hold on. Windowed. And I'll do like I'll show it on my on my computer, the way it's supposed to be. Where is it? FL Studio. See, there's a pattern thing on the side here. I will take a picture of it. And I will send it to you. Just to prove my point. See, look. See how there's track one, track two, track three. Then there's the pattern right there on the side. See? I don't, I don't see it. <laughs> it's look! Look, no, look the, at my phone! No, it's, it's, it's transparent because of the... <laughs> okay, I'll send it to you. I'll send it to an image to you. Just put it on the this on a general chat on a Discord and then say I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go into the general chat and Discord. Uh to sell it to him. Oh. All right. This is what I am talking about. See that pattern one on the side? It's a, there's a piano, there's the sound wave, and there's the slash thing, the line. But now that that's before. not available. You've never seen that before. No, I have no idea what that is. I'm opening up mine, and mine does not have that either. Do you see? It's every. Look back at all of the videos that I've ever done on uh, Discord, and it's always there, every single time. So I have to go soon because it's getting right. late. I need to work tomorrow, but I would like to add something to the song, if that's okay. Okay, just go, go ahead and add something. <laughs> oh, like right now, okay. But like, what do you think he meant when he... Okay, I bought my speaker to this guy's train, and this older guy comes oh, up it's and asks how much Okay. And I keep That's fixating on what he meant by that because I felt he had a patronizing attitude. Did you sell it to him? No, I played a few songs pretty loudly after. But, like, what do you think he meant when he asked me that question? How much oh, is your speaker? I, maybe he did want to buy it. I mean, maybe he just was interested in getting one for himself. So he was asking how much it costs just so that he knows. Maybe he just wanted to um, have a conversation was trying to like break the ice or something or maybe like if he was if you think he was being like patronizing or something maybe like uh he was just like being like how much does that cost like yeah that's a cheap speaker right there and you know it's like he's trying to like brag and act like he's better mm -hmm. or maybe he's just yeah probably because i how much is that? Yeah, it's like it looks like a cool thing. Like, oh, yeah, that's what I would but assume. If... Why they're asking me? I. W I think we might have changed the inst. Wait, are we even using nine for anything? Oh yeah, we are using number. We changed the uh, um. I don't remember what it was actually. I don't remember. I don't think it was portly. Small. We can we can we can go back and watch the video and see what it was before.
Are you going to add a, a do 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 do? Uh, um, what's it called a. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't planning on it, but now that you at, now that you said something about it, yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, I am. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> call me sober. Oh, call me sober for two months. I've just been following for one year, seventeen days, and five hours. So yeah. you've been following, uh, or yeah, you've been following us longer than you've been sober. <laughs> Call me sober. Welcome back, Vilde. Also, our uh, scale is uh, C minor, I believe. So, so the the white keys are the ones that um, I mean the the ones that are not blacked out are the ones in the scale. the keyboard shortcut to enable and disable the pattern picker is alt p so it must have somehow maybe somebody was pushing alt and somebody else hit p at the same time and it hit it i don't know i don't know exactly uh, when that happened but that's i'm pretty i think that's what pattern. happened at some point so okay that that's why so i'm not crazy <laughs> I was just I have been vindicated until I could figure out how to turn it back on. <laughs> I've been vindicated. I am not insane, and I, it's not a Mandela. Did you think for a second, like, am I crazy? <laughs> like, no, I know I saw it. Yeah, I, I, that's why I tried. I wanted to prove it to you. I just didn't have the right words to articulate exactly what it was. See what that sounds uh, like with the I rest have one of the idea. music. Hold on one second, just to throw people off. Very last note. Just, just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix it if you don't like it. Tony House, I've always there. bought my speakers that better, from Jimmy? Goodwill. Yes, it is definitely a hundred billion times better. If I see a group of cool kids, I'd think they hit me and wish they die. Hate me and wish they die. Mm. Hey, I take offense to that because I'm a cool kid. Mm. 
I'm a cool kid. I identify as a cool kid. Yeah, I'm like, they're just regular people, but cooler. <laughs> <laughs> I like this uh, piano solo, by the way. Have them like closer together, like zoom in. And have them like so it's they're clashing a little less. It's like offbeat a little bit. By the way, this song is called Liquid Lizard. Alright, go ahead. Oh, I didn't even see what that message was. Just asking if we wanted to become famous and then a link of where we can buy followers and viewers. Hey, but... <sighs> Darn! Could have bought some viewers. <laughs> you don't need to buy viewers. interesting vibe to it i feel like maybe you just might need to adjust a few things but overall it's, i like it 
you should adjust absolutely whatever you want and uh i've got to go to bed but that was that was my uh that's the amount of time i have i can't adjust it too much but you can change it i i kind of like the uh the the sounds of the instruments i added like the slow pitch and the ace Mm -hmm. of space flex and the uh the the electric piano uh sound Mm -hmm. anyway i've i've got to get going i'm gonna log off thanks for your contribution thanks for the conversation and uh, maybe next time we can collab again you can add some more stuff maybe okay if you want okay just jimmy you were dangerously dangerously close today to being canceled you Uh, danced you 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 did the following things you danced to a song about assad that was last you defended dave Chappelle's netflix special (laughs) <laughs> and um, you got really mad over a very small thing. <laughs> I was just frustrated because nobody was acknowledging what I was talking about, and I felt like I was communicating and articulating. I was just frustrated that I couldn't get the words out to describe what it was that I was talking about. Yeah, but about. like no matter what, it was no one was going to acknowledge that, and they were just going to continue to, to tell you that it was just not what you were saying it was, even though it was. That, which is why this I... Is, this is called gaslighting. Which why, is why I took a picture to prove my point. So why yeah. is it now on the other side? So, <laughs> it's always been on that it. side. <laughs> I, um... <laughs> I, I, I've never seen it on any other side. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I'll get used on, to it. No, but legitimately on my FL Studio, I don't even have that. Like, I don't even know... I, it's not a thing that i use it's not on my thing it's never been there and legitimately that's true yeah well, it's, i've it's, i've always seen it and i've always not always it's it, i don't know if it came out on fl12 or maybe fl20 but in this little it's just, it's the, just what I'm used to ever since the little arrow, has started. picker panel and then check this enable it's the picker that's what it's called a picker panel it's like i'll have to remember that by pick, 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 picker panel. <laughs> also make it really little. As long as it's there. I mean, I'm, I'm like, I just like it being there because that's what I'm used to. And it gives me comfort. Mm-hmm. Cool. cool. Um, I guess my parting words should be that people who are cool don't know that they're cool. And that, um, I know that I'm cool. You're an exception and you're also not cool. So, <laughs> so hey, basically, as long as I convince myself that I'm, I don't know if you're convincing. You anyway, gotta, you gotta have confidence, Kenny. You you have com- you didn't even have confidence at that bar that you knew was there on FL Studio. You, you barely even have confidence, have confidence in that. You were. You I were have bending. confidence that I'm cool, though. Not in that, but I'm maybe I'm that I'm. You really? You maybe. think you're cool? I think I'm awesome. <laughs> I'm slick. I think you are awesome, but are you cool? Yes. Maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're awesome. And you're very awesome. But um <laughs> but what I wanted to say was that cool kids don't know they're cool. And they often they probably think they're not cool. That's that's why everyone likes to watch like a protagonist that's like a nerd in movies. It's because even the cool kids think they're that person they're the underdog you know i think think like uh the quote-unquote cool kids it's all relative because everybody's comparing themselves to like other people so like everybody has like a different idea of what is cool so everybody's trying to make themselves like not everybody but people are trying to like become their image of what cool is and like some people like you look at them and they think oh man this guy's so cool but some other guy might look at that guy and think that guy's lame you know so it's all relative it's all a matter of opinion and And subjective my point is like no and also like no matter how sucky you think your life is or like that you don't have a lot or whatever there's someone out there that's just like thinking to themselves like man i really wish i just had and then like it's something you clearly have like people Mm -hmm. don't recognize like the good things that they have off all all the time you know and yeah like 
yeah. So it's like basically the the whole thing is I guess this is from a comment from Tony Howe five. Hope he's not an Assad supporter. Oh, Tony House. Tony House. I uh, yeah. Um hope he's not and you know, yeah, not he's, gonna he's part. been around a long time. He's, he's I hope hopefully yeah. he's, he's not gonna slowly inch into Assad support from the school kids comment. <laughs> and <laughs> No, I don't think he's start, a cool kid. At first it starts with British trap music. And then <laughs> It goes to Assad. That's always how it goes. <laughs> I I, don't, I actually don't mind the British music he was sharing. I thought the, it was like some of it was like kind of funny, you know. There's it. I like the Great British Baking Show. Oh yeah, it's, and also the Great funny. British Pottery A Throwdown. Great British Baking Show. It's it's great, isn't it, Mike? Pretty funny. I but like. Is it funny or is it just? Like it's just kind of everything more... British is just I mean, it's... inherently funny. There are some things that are funny, and it may just be because I don't understand it. Yeah, like so they I call just... cookie. They, they they call things stupid names constantly. Like, look at this <laughs> cookie, and it's not a cookie; it's a biscuit. And you look at biscuit, and it's a cookie. And also, yeah, they, they call things the biscuit like... Episodes, like, "Oh, cool! I'm going to learn how to make some like homemade biscuits," and then they all made cookies instead. And I was like. Maybe want yeah. to think. Th- th- I remember, I, first time I saw that, I like threw a chair across the room, and <laughs> they have like also they have nicknames for things like I'm going to use this wiki biscuit or a wiki biskey, and yeah. it's like a uh, whisk whisker. It's like a thing to mix, and he's called it well, Bicky Nick. And you, and they're like an whisker, island, which is not what it's called either. But <laughs> the, the, <laughs> I'm the, I'm the, using it on your face on cats. So, so in Britain too, there's like, there's like, it's like an island of like what, like fifty million people or something, and there's like all of these different dialects, and like some people you can understand just fine, and other people like they just sound like they're speaking gibberish, mm-hmm. like they're like, <laughs> and then like they're like, <laughs> like they just said something funny, but all they said was just nonsense. They probably think the same thing about like a lot of Americans. Yes, like, like, like Radiohead. Radiohead comes from the UK, and the Radiohead is probably the world's greatest band. You know what? I'm not going to argue with you there. I I, I, I like Radiohead. <laughs> How you doing, Retro? Welcome back. That, that's uh, uh, probably an objective statement. Oh, yeah, and the Beatles. Eh, um, are they the best, though? Or, like, Radiohead versus the Beatles? Which I would say... Well, I mean, like if maybe you're, the like, Beatles, as far, far as like a historical, their, their influence is probably they're probably more influential. But like Radiohead's is better. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I you know I really really like. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna like rank them. Uh, I like than well, the Beatles. I do love the Beatles. Band. Like I love later era Beatles. They're really good. Yeah, I, I but, think it's like comparing apples and oranges. I mean, they're like different. Oranges are better. I, you know what? I like uh, the hybrid app oranges. Uh, centrist. So if you're saying like something is comparing apples to oranges. It's like, well, clearly one of them is better. Then uh, oranges are better. Like the, they're like the better. best fruit. And so you can't you can't argue with they're they're the like you can't get better than the best. Like an apple. Okay, there's okay. good apples and there's bad apples. There's too many variety of apple though. But there's a lot of varieties of oranges. And all of them are good. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I, I don't want to get into an argument. Uh, we are Because uh, I do agree that ap- the oranges are right. great. I've got to go. Oops. All right. All right. Okay, bye. Right. <laughs> I will see you later. Right. See you later, uh, PLM. <laughs> and Radiohead is great, too. <laughs> That was like a cool song. I like that. Oh, thank you, Crab Suit Lando. Lando tip ten dollars. Hey, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. The, thank you for the ten crab suit. That's awesome. Very nice of you. Much appreciated. Crab suit. You're like I got to do a suit before the stream ends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, thanks for the follows and the and the feedbacks and thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Horn Dog ninety seven for the follow. And uh, everybody sent in their tracks. Thanks for that. Uh, we're going to go raid Marty. He's also Ain't making it? music. Ain't it Marty? 
Yes, ain't it, Marty? All right, ain't it? Thanks for sharing your stuff, Retro. Uh, Itukudo, thank you for stopping in, even if you came at the very end. I uh, hope to see you again in another one. Uh, I'll see you next stream. Saturday. Yes. So we'll see you guys later. All right. Goodbye.